Hi, this is Roger Newcomb on the red carpet of the 37th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards for We Love Soaps TV. And I'm Damon L. Jacobs. Stay tuned because we're going to bring you all the interviews, chats, and more. Right. Stay tuned. You are beautiful. You look so gorgeous. I'm with Colleen Zeig. I'm so happy to be here with you. Hi, Dave. So, you realize this is our third state now that I've interviewed you in three different states. I know. <laughs> are we going to go for 50 or what? we got to like do a tour. We can do We're going to get in a tour. We're going to get in a van. We're going to like do, do a 50 that? state tour. I love that. Including Alaska and Hawaii. Is that I love okay? That. Okay, good. Okay. Good. How are you? I'm, it's I, been a week. It's been a week. You know, we know that as weeks. the world turns, ended filming this week. Yes, on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, very sad day for all of us. Uh, very emotional. Very um, not cathartic. Very difficult. Very. I mean, I, 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 I still haven't dealt with the reality of it. I think there's so many of us who are still in denial about real, what's really happened. And um, and when I get home tomorrow night, I won't get up to go to work in the morning on Tuesday. It's it's shocking. It's just shocking. And I think a lot of us just didn't deal with it at all these last six months. Me being one of those at that top of that list. And you and, and so many of your coworkers are such pros. I'm sure you've been doing, you know, working hard on it. And not, you just can't let that in while you're in that process. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, I, it was interesting because just before my very, very last scene that I shot, a reporter from Time Magazine came over and interviewed me. Then she said, do you mind if I talk to you before you shoot your last scene ever? And I went, I, I hadn't even thought about it in that. You know what I mean? I just hadn't dealt with that. Um, it was, it, it's overwhelming. It really is. On a brighter note, with every ending, there are new beginnings and I know we talked a little bit about this but there's some very exciting new beginnings for you and I just want to talk about that with you again for a Yes, I start rehearsals uh, on the 6th of July uh, for a show in New York called Summerstock NYC, a blockbuster night of Broadway hits and um, I'm going to be doing in the show everything from Nellie Forbush to Charity to Maine. I don't know what anyone else is going to possibly do after that but that's um, I'm very excited about that. So wow. we open on July 16th. Look for it. Um, it will be it's a short, limited run, and then I go off to the next thing after that. I'm sure there are very exciting things ahead. I can tell you from We Love Soaps Weekend, you blew the roof off. You are so talented, and I just I'm so excited that the world is now going to get a more of a chance to see you do you. this amazing act and your amazing singing. Thank you you so have so much, much to give. We I just had love so you. Much fun. Yes. Thanks so much. Love you guys. With the legendary John Hensley from As the World Turns. How are you tonight, sir? I'm great. I'm great. You came all the way out from New York for the awards tonight. Yeah, we've been here since Thursday. We, we kind of make a, a trip out of it with the Emmys. You know, it's a couple of days away from our kids. Time that we need to do. Right, yeah. right. Now, I want to say my deepest apologies and regrets. I know As the World Turns stopped shooting a few days ago. Yeah, I didn't. How are you? I'm, I'm okay. You know, uh, it ended last Wednesday. Tuesday was my tough day because I had a lot of scenes that were kind of referencing the first couple years of the show, so it was really emotional, it was really hard to get through. But once I got past that, uh, you know, Wednesday was all about just being with, being with everybody and enjoying everybody and just uh, letting it go. So, I'm so, what's coming up for you? I'm almost speechless because I'm just so sad hearing about it. I know life goes on, but what's going to happen for you next? Well, my wife and I are, are very interested in making a big change. We would love to move out to L.A. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, if a soap, you know, comes up, that might be an option. But I, I think I still have a window of opportunity to do something outside of soaps. So I'm looking to uh, maybe move on and try something else as well. So we'll see. In an ideal world, what would, what would that be? Films or theater? Or? Well, anything. Anything that comes along. Because, you know, I've been locked into this for so many years, and when you are, they don't really let you out to do other things. Yeah. So now I have that opportunity to do that. So we'll see. Well, I'm, I'm, I look forward to exploring it. Okay. Anything you can preview for us about Holden? A lot of the fans now are so divided between Lily and Molly. Well, I think, every, I think everybody knows that Holden and Molly aren't going to make it. <laughs> you know, and that just wouldn't be right. <laughs> now, would it? Okay. All right. Jo so nice to see you. you and too. if I may speak with your beautiful Absolutely. wife for a few minutes. Kelly and Damon Jacobs from We Love Soaps. How are, How are you? I'm great, thank you. Oh, I am, I'm speechless. You look so gorgeous tonight. Who are you wearing? Thank you, Mark Bauer. Mark Bauer, okay. So I was just speaking with your husband. We are so, we, have, we love soaps. We are so sad about the loss of As the World.
final turn, so we know just a few days ago was the final day of shooting. How are you? How are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. I don't look back. I'm looking forward. I I had my sad day on the last day, and it's very bittersweet. Um, I almost feel like to talk about it doesn't give what I lived for the last 18 years justice. So. You have managed to make Emily a force of nature in these years um, with so many, with shall I say, backstage changes and character and direction, but you've always made her thrive. You've always made the audience root for her no matter what. How do you think you've been able to do that? No matter what she's done, we always no, want her to be happy. Because I think deep inside she's kind of a sad person and she's just trying to justify her life and how do you not have empathy for that? I don't know, it's sweet. I love her. I think she's great. She's a survivor, you know? Anything you can preview for us about how things end up for Emily? Oh, beautifully. Beautifully. I'm glad to hear you've got that. sweet eyes. Your eye, you've got like, I don't know, sweet, sensitive eyes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. In my other life, I'm a therapist. So no, you do. Thank you. Well, I'm just so impressed, and I love seeing you. I'm so sad about Thank S World you. turns, but you are so beautiful. What is coming up for you in your future? What would you like to see happen? Um, I'd like to get another job. This has been the first job I've ever had as an actress. So, um, 18 years on the same show. I'm just looking forward to doing something else. Okay. I wish you the very best, and I look forward to interviewing you again in the future when we're talking about your next project and future interviews. I look forward to it. I look forward to it too. Thank, Thank you so much for the compliment. Sweet. Yeah. How are you? Hey. How are you? Yeah. Good. You look so good. Thank you so much. Where's your dad? My dad. Oh, he's over. My dad and mom are over there. Zach took my dad and mom. I wanted to talk to him. Oh uh, no. It's okay. It's okay. I'll, are you yeah. nervous? Are you? How are you feeling? I'm a little nervous and, and very excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens for everybody across the board. I, I think. Um, I think more. I think Julie and Michael have a really good shot. I'm excited. I don't know what will happen my way, but I'm excited just to be nominated. So. Have you thought about what you might do when they, if they call your name or a Roberto Benini or? I know. I don't want to fall. That's the one thing. I have a massive fear that I'm going to trip on my dress for shoes and fall down. Or if I won, I would drop the Emmy. Something klutzy is the main fear I have. But you know, definitely just a, shout, a lot of shout outs and love. I just saw you a few days ago at the World Turn Studios. I was. It was the second to last day. How are you feeling about the end of the show? Just really sad. It's really, really sad. Um, you know, we we took our time with the goodbyes to everybody. After everybody's last scene, we hugged. Everybody came out, took pictures. At the end of the day, everybody talked, said their thanks to everybody across the board, and and that was really, really, really great. And I'm glad that we had that. It was very emotional, but we're very sad about the end of the show. So I've watched since birth, so it's going to be very strange. Uh, so are we. Like, I just ran into somebody at Macy's who was like, I've been watching since I was a kid. We're gonna miss having you guys come into our living room. You're our family, you know. And it's sad because we're all losing our family, you know. Uh, well, I don't think I've ever seen you look more beautiful. So, uh, good luck. So I'm rooting for you. So great to see you two at the Emmys. How you are you doing too. this year? We're great, we're but we, great. We're, we're here. So we're so incredibly unfashionably late. <laughs> I know. <laughs> They're gonna close the doors though. I know. We just want to say you both look so great. Unfortunately, the show stopped taping this yeah. week. We're so sad. How are you two doing with that? We're good. I think um, we're ready for what's next. It was a wonderful ending and very emotional and and um, we're just ready for what's next. Well, yeah. yeah, who moved the cheese? You know? <laughs> we gotta you know? figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Any theater coming up for you? No, not yet. I'm going to audition, but um, okay. I'll let you know. And Austin, you stole the, I've, I've been very open, uh, you stole the show in, in Irish Curse, yeah. which is unfortunately it's not playing anymore, but do you have more projects or more theater coming up in New York? Uh, w uh, there's some things in the works, so we'll see. We'll see, we'll see what's going to happen. All happens, right. You know? Well, we will let you know. All right. You're so it's always so um, supportive, so we appreciate that. And oh, of course, and and I'm probably going to be uncool for saying this, but you, I, the fact that you were overlooked this year just really pissed me off because your work after this guy's death on the show yeah. was so moving. And as someone who's lost people, yeah, seeing you go through that and come through that, and Katie go through all the stages of grief moved me tremendously, and I was so really pissed much. you weren't. Well, I felt that way about nominated. him too, yeah. about this that whole storyline with the ghost and when he leaves. It was really special. So, it just to be able to do it, you know, we felt really good it about it. We'll always experience. have that. Yeah, and I think the emotional depths you went to as Katie this year 
you've always been so good as Katie, but this year it really felt like it went deeper than before. Thank you. And I'm just, thank you for doing it. Yeah. I can't wait to see both of more of you in New York and yeah. theater and shows, everything. <laughs> Keep we'll us informed. Soon.